The Victoria's Secret Fashion Show is just around the corner and we got a special sneak peek of the $10 million Royal Fantasy Bra and talked to the angel who's gonna be wearing it. Who was the first person you called when you found out the news that you were gonna be wearing the Fantasy Bra? I always call my mom when I find out exciting news. I remember when I booked the fashion show for the very first time in 2007. Um, I was kind of living in, in New York alone and I had no one to really share it with. So I called my mom, Mom, I got the show. What's the best part of being in the Victoria's Secret Fashion Show? Oh, you know, the excitement of it, being able to walk the runway with such energy and, and with the performers that Victoria's Secret chooses, it's, it's, it's not a show, it's, it's, it's an extravaganza, it's like a, a, a fantasy um, that we're living. You know, we work so hard all year and um, it's nice to have one night to just go wild. <laughs> you mentioned the performers, so you've met a lot of people. Who would you say is the most interesting person you've met since becoming an angel? You know what, I have to say last year when Rihanna sang in the show, all of the girls were mesmerized by her, just her energy and, and her attitude. Um, she's so gracious and, and she was wonderful, so she's one of, one of the greater people that I've met. Okay, and we want to know, what is one of the best magazine or one of your favorite magazine covers that you've shot and why? Um, the one that really changed my career a lot is the, the cover of Italian Vogue that I shot with Stephen Meisel. Um, I had been working with Victoria's Secret for a couple of years and kind of the day before the shoot they booked me so I didn't really have much time to think about it and then when that came out it really it, it changed the way people saw me, how diverse I am um, and just to work with such great people in fashion that was a huge deal for me. Hi guys, I'm Candace Swanepoel and you're watching Gossip Center.